You saw a job posted online. You went ahead and submitted your resume. You've been waiting a couple of weeks and haven't heard anything from them. Or maybe you got as far as interviewing with a company three weeks ago and haven't heard back from them since. All sorts of thoughts and emotions start taking over. Why is this taking so long? Why is this happening to me? Did they ghost me? <gasps> <coughs> If you're stuck in the circle of applying for jobs and going for interviews but not hearing back from employers, you are the reason I am making this video. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. You don't want this to be you, so keep on watching. So we're going to start with why they ghost you and what you can do about it. Before we get started, let me know in the comment section if you've ever been ghosted before, not in a relationship. If you've ever applied for a job before and they ghost you, if you've ever attended an interview before that you were so hopeful and you ended up being ghosted, let me know in the comment section. Let me know your experience in the comment section. Tell me about it. Okay. So why did they ghost you? Number one, you are not qualified for the job. I'm sorry. You are most probably not the best candidate for the job. When you send your resume to jobs you are not qualified for, this is inevitable. This one is definitely going to happen. You will not hear back from hiring managers. For instance, you come across a job posted on a job site and they tell you specifically in the job description. This is one of the reasons I always tell you to read the job description. They tell you in the job description that you need to live in Lagos. All this job is in Lagos and you are in Abuja. You still go ahead to apply for the job with the hope that they will be open to relocation, right? So even when you know you are qualified for the job, you don't get it because you don't fit in into their own requirements. Or they need someone with four years of experience and you have just one year of experience and you apply for the job regardless. They won't get back to you because most of these recruiters don't have the time to start reaching out to each and every candidate they receive resumes from. You have no idea how many resumes, if you post a job now online, how many applications you will get. So most of them don't have time to reply to everyone. So they just ghost you. So make sure to go through a job description properly and make sure you are qualified for it or you meet certain basic requirements before applying for a job. Now let's move on to the next reason why they ghost you, which is the ATS. It's the ATS, Applicant Tracking System. It's the ATS. These systems, these bots, scans, resumes, cover letters, applications to make sure that they suit the requirements or the criteria of a particular position. I'm planning on how to create a resume that is ATS optimized and the key hidden things you need to do in order for the ATS to pick up your resume, in order for the ATS not to psh, we don't need this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on creating a video like that. So if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, this is your sign. Click the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. You don't miss any of the videos I post on this channel. You will not miss the ATS video, okay? subscribe and like this video so it can reach a wider audience the next reason why they ghost you is because you're doing one for all one size fits all while it may be tempting to use the one size fits all approach oh i don't have time to update my resume i don't have time to revamp my resume tailoring your resume to each application is crucial you cannot use the same resume you use in applying for company a to apply for company b for instance, you apply for a job as a customer service manager, yes? And in company A, you cannot use the same CV, you cannot use the same resume to apply for company B as a customer success manager. Even if the roles might be similar, these are different companies with different requirements, expectations. So you need to check out keywords from company B regarding the customer success manager position. Get keywords from there and optimize the CV the resume you use in applying for company A as a customer service manager. I don't know. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is making sense to you. 
I said I was going to tell you what you're going to do about it. So basically, as I'm telling you why they ghost you, I'm chipping those in. So I have a section for that. This extra effort demonstrates your interest in the position and increases the chances of your resume making it pass the eight years. The next reason why they ghost you is because of your application email. Some of you don't know how to write application emails and it's sad because I've created a video on this. This is the video and you refuse to watch it. <laughs> I know how many emails I have had to like, this one is not serious. Because of how the email is being presented, how do you send an email for a job application and you just write, kindly find attached? Subject, my CV. Body, kindly find attached. And then you attach your CV. How, <laughs> how can you do that? and expect somebody to take you seriously. This is one of the reasons they're not getting back to you. Your application email, excuse my French, sucks. The next reason you're not hearing back from hiring managers because the application is closed. You did not check the deadline. Always check the deadline of job applications before you apply. I know you want to work by faith. Yeah, I know. But always check the job application before you apply, the deadline before you apply, because some people are actually serious with their lives. The next reason is that your resume is too long. Hiring managers don't have the time to read through long rambling resumes. Make sure you're keeping your resume concise and only include relevant information that is applicable to the job you're applying for. If it's too long and filled with irrelevant details, irrelevant information, odds are it will make you through the first review. A pager resume is always advisable. Especially if you are a beginner or a mid-level, a pager resume is always recommended, it's always advisable. That contains all the basic information a recruiter needs to see in order to make a decision. You don't have to write a three-page, oh my God, I have optimized a four-page resume before when i received it i was like is this an ac and the man was laughing <laughs> seriously so keep it simple keep it concise keep it relevant it shows that you value my time as a recruiter it also shows that you are serious about getting this job that's the reason why they ghost you is because most of the time recruiters are overwhelmed <laughs> it takes a lot of work to send rejection emails i so much rent companies that do that and most of them use ai as well which is where to optimize your resume for the ats is super important because you see situations where you apply for a job and in the next second you are getting a rejection later you're getting a rejection email sorry we regret we choose to go with this other candidate blah 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 that is it yeah so i recommend companies that go the extra mile to use this technology to reach out to candidates because now i know i can move on I don't have to wait. I don't have to keep wondering, okay, maybe on Monday. Okay, maybe on Friday. By the close of work. So if they are doing this manually, the recruiters are most of the time overwhelmed. Nobody has the time to send emails to a hundred candidates. Sorry, we rejected your application. They just focus on what's important. The people that have the qualifications they need and they just move on from there. They assume when you wait for like two weeks, you know, hear from us, you go move on. But some people actually take their time to send these rejection emails. I meant them for their empathy. I really do. All right. So the next reason why you're not hearing back from hiring managers, the next reason why they ghost you is because you are too good for them. Let me explain. I know you didn't see that coming, but the truth is you're overqualified. I can't afford you. I have a friend who applied for a job. He was called for an interview. He went for the interview and he waited for them to get back to him. But nothing. He was so qualified for the job. Yeah, he was so confident that I know what I sent to them as my CV. I know my CV is top notch. The interview went well. I answered all the questions. But they didn't seem to get back to him. So what could be the problem? He now reached out to them. What is the problem? And <laughs> do you know what they told him? They told him that they can't pay him, that he's overqualified. So these things happen. And it was good. Now I know it's not me. It's you. Sounds like a breakup line. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's, it's me. Next reason why they go stew before we move on to what you can do about it is that there's no reason people do silly things for no reason people just don't see what's right in front of them so they try it away they don't see potential and this is not on you 
is them. The quotas don't get back to candidates and that's just what it is. It wasn't like you bumped the interview, but you didn't exactly ace it either. You were nice enough, but you might not have been a standout candidate for them. Your answers were good, but not enough to seal the deal. And for an employer to try to articulate that you didn't do anything wrong, but still didn't get the job, can be confusing and upsetting to candidates, so they just ghost you instead. It's safe. So now, what can you do about it? What can you do if you've been ghosted? Aside the tips I have shared, follow up the employer. Send a harmless, polite email, but your email should be professional, friendly, not too friendly. Don't be overly pushy or demanding as this could make them less likely to hire you. So now I'm going to share with you an email template on the screen that you can send to the potential employer. You can add, you can subtract, you can adjust it anyhow you want. Okay. So. Good luck. Tailoring your, tailoring your, tailoring your, tailoring your, tailoring. Your, <laughs> tailoring. <laughs>